Hi, I'm Meatball, and this is Ranked. Now, I hope there's nothing like a setup where they make me rank a bunch of my own friends or like Dragula girls, because that would be very fed up. Okay, I have to rank these cartoon daddies. Ooh, this is hard. Okay, Fred Flintstone, Papa Smurf, Homer Simpson, the dad from, what is that? Fairly Odd Parents, and then Peppa Pig's dad. Well, I'm of the belief that the dumber the person, the bigger their is, and I love a big So I'm gonna rank them in order of how dumb I believe they are. So I think Timmy Turner's dad is the dumbest. He's gonna be number one, and I know he got pipe. And then um, Papa Smurf really gives me like, old daddy, like big, thick So I'm gonna go number two. I don't know anything about Peppa Pig's father or Peppa Pig herself. I know that she hangs out with Iggy Azalea sometimes, so I'm gonna go five, gross, disgusting. Why would you let your daughter hang out with her? And then I think that Fred Flintstone's feet are probably really smooth from like graveling on, on the ground because they drive the car like that. So I'm gonna give him number three because I'm sometimes into like shrimp diving. That's what it's called when you suck on a toe. And then I think Homer's gotta be number four, I guess. He's too dumb for me. He makes too many mistakes. And so this order, but um, if it was like a dump, I would want him in the reverse order. You know what I mean? I think you got it. Oh no, <laughs> not rank these Dragula icons. I specifically asked for this not to happen. But if I must, I would say my favorite person to work with is Puddin. So she'll be number one and she's a nut job. I remember one time we had to film something in New York and we went, we spent all day shooting. We were like exhausted. We get to the hotel, I take my makeup off and I just hear a knock on my door. She's fully done up, ready to go. And she's like, we're going out tonight. And she dragged me out on the town. So I am always down to party with her. I'm always down to clown. We also did a show at a sex club one time. I don't think I can talk about that though. And my number two would absolutely have to be Vander. They are one of my favorite people to work with. They're so inspiring. And they read me down like nobody else has. Actually, all of these people have read me down for filth. Okay, number three would, of course, have to be Landon Sider. Uh, one of my favorite people to work with. An incredible artist. Um, and their show is so fun. They're sometimes, it's so funny to work with them because they're so much more serious than I am. They one time told me that I could just wear a diaper and roll around on stage. So when I went and did their show in Long Beach, I wore a diaper and rolled around on stage and I got more tips than she did. Next, I would have to go Dali, Daddy, Dali. Wait, I wanna put them. Can you put them first and then put fourth? No, put second. No, put, no. Yeah, okay, put fourth, cause she's always late. And then put Dolly first. Blaze five. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, that's the perfect lineup. I love them all. <gasps> Rank these fabrics! Okay, I love fabric shopping. I love sewing my own dresses. I love all of it. So these fabrics are, it looks like velvet, silk, corduroy, denim, cotton? Linen. Uh, linen would have to be five. It frays, it's impossible to work with, it's gross. Denim would have to be first, because I have a thing for cowboys and I like a tight jean. Corduroy, I can't wear corduroy. Put it fourth. Uh, when I was in high school, I would always wear corduroy pants and I was real chubby and my thighs would rub together and it would make the loudest sound. And I didn't care and I don't understand. And it would also be like, worn away. You know what I'm talking about? When your thighs get all worn away and then you just look weird and then they rip. Okay, and then I would do silk third and velvet second. Velvet's hard to work with and it's really hot. So I don't really like it all that much but it's pretty to look at. <gasps> Rank these Halle Berry rolls! Okay, I, okay, this is gonna be hard. So we have Halle Berry as Storm, iconic. She should have had her own movie and they never gave her one. Halle Berry as Catwoman, should have never happened. Halle Berry in, what's that one where she's talking about doing all the drugs and getting <laughs> And she got paid like a million dollars to show her <laughs> Monsters Ball! Thanks, dude. 
And then Halle Berry in that 007 James Bond movie. I forget which one. Is it Casino Royale? No, it's Die Another Day. She comes out of the water in that scene. I would, when we would go to the beach, I would always pretend to be Halle Berry coming out of the water and like shaking my hair and just like slowly walking and trying to be sexy. And my mom would be like, please stop doing that. Everyone here is looking at you. And then um, The Call, a movie where Halle Berry stays seated in a chair and talks to someone in the trunk of a car. That's a perfect airplane movie. It's just the right length for you to fall asleep, for the edibles to kick in, and then you get your dry mouth. So Halle Berry in The Call, airplane movie, that's five. Halle Berry as Catwoman was so bad that it actually turned around and it's good. So that's gonna be number one for me. God, Halle Berry is so sexy. Okay, and then Storm, that's number two. Man, I just think I wanna be Halle Berry. I never realized it, but all these roles are very me. Okay, and then Monster's Ball, because yeah, I'll suck it. Three, I'm just like her in every way. And then James Bond, number four. I love it, tits. You never saw Rank these scout badges! This is very personal to me as well because I am an Eagle Scout, baby! And so these badges are the camping, cooking, swimming, knitting, and physical fitness. So we're, uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you right now, physical fitness is number five. Wah, 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 I hate it. Um, knitting, number one, baby. Who doesn't like to sit in their tent and knit? Camping, no, actually, can you move knitting to number two? Okay, camping would be number one. I was I like had my sexual awakenings at Boy Scout camp. And then you would go back home and pretend like none of it ever happened. Okay. Cooking, number three, who likes to cook? And swimming, number four. They really, okay, for the swimming badge, I do remember this. We would have to jump into the lake and swim about a half mile out and then touch like a buoy and then swim back in. And the kids that couldn't make it would just hang on to the buoy to the point where it started to sink. And there was like six kids attached and they had to send out a canoe to go get them one at a time. Could you imagine drowning at Boy Scout camp and no one there to save you because none of us know how to save a life because we don't have that badge yet? Disgusting. I'd go back. Well, that was so much fun. I feel like I really learned a lot about myself and who I am. And I think I need to go to therapy after this. I'm so <laughs> Jesus. And I need to watch a bunch of Halle Berry movies because baby, I forgot how good they are. But um, thank you so much for watching me rank these things. I had a wonderful time really traveling back into my memory, thinking about all the <laughs> I want to suck and have sucked. God. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the PEG YouTube channel, divas. Enjoy. This was dark, huh? This was not a good day for anybody here, right? Just me? I had fun, though. God, I'm horny. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta stop. Okay, we gotta stop. We gotta end this.